we are to understand the true pattern of organisation, then we must surely move from the mechanistic to the organic. This pattern of enzymes is indeed described as a network. But here, the network is in self-formation, during which 15 different enzymes form a closed loop. This is biological creativ creativity. For according to Manfred Eigen, who created the image, these closed loops are the first stages of the evolution of life. The illustration is taken from Fritjof Capra's book, The Web of Life, and <coughs> I freely confess that my biological reading has gone no further than that. But it seems to me that if we are to understand the pattern of organization of the creative industries, then a shift from a mechanical to a biological metaphor, from network to web, will refresh our thinking. I stress that I am using metaphors, both verbal and visual. But if we think in terms of organic as opposed to geometrical relationships, we have more chance of understanding how these relationships work. Here, for instance, is Nestor's attempt to express the institutional relationships in the United Kingdom's creative economy. Here, the respective roles of government, universities, cultural bodies like the Arts Council, public broadcasters, regulatory bodies, and official sources of finance are shown to be feeding into a continuous loop. 